What's going on, everyone? It's Taylor Kyle here for CLNS Media. Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr. held his pro day today. And surprise, surprise, he was very impressive, as we've seen from multiple of the top quarterbacks in this year's draft class. Now, while I will state again, as I have in previous videos, that pro days don't do a ton in terms of helping a quarterback stock, Michael Penix Jr. may have been one of the rare exceptions, as he ran somewhere within the high 4.4s and mid 4.5s when he ran his 40-yard dash, which he didn't do at the Combine. Now, Michael Penix Jr. is someone who's known for being a pocket passer, which is absolutely true, especially considering he's had multiple season-ending knee injuries. He's someone who doesn't tend to use his rushing ability very much, or at least not within the confines of Washington's offense last season. That said, seeing someone like Penix, who, again, had some questions regarding his mobility, run that fast, even if it was a sub 4-6, he didn't have to run a 4-3, didn't have to run a 4-4, running a 4-6 for someone with his profile could make more teams comfortable investing a high pick in Michael Penix Jr. as he's not specifically the statuesque quarterback that many perceived him to be last season where he scrambled fewer than 10 times, which is by far the fewest number in the entire draft class. Now, Penix does come with other concerns. As I mentioned, he does have a lengthy injury history, which includes multiple injuries that actually ended his season. There's also the fact that he's got pretty wonky mechanics and will need a good offensive line that can provide him a solid pocket to operate from. That said, I think Michael Penix Jr.'s ability to make plays off schedule is a bit underrated, and he may have the best deep ball in this class as he's in competition with Jaden Daniels for that top spot. If the Patriots do end up trading out of the number three slot and get 11 and 23 from the Vikings, I would look at Michael Penix Jr. as possibly their best case scenario if they decide to take a quarterback at number 23. It also helps that the Patriots had some people present at the Pro Day, including Director of College Scouting Cameron Williams. The Patriots also have another connection to Penix Jr. with Tyler Hughes, their wide receivers coach, who's an offensive quality control coach at Washington last season. Testing my skills on prize picks this season is the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps. Use the code CLNS for the first deposit match up to $100. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy.